lecture series of basic electrical engineering now we are seeing the module 4 that is electrical utilities and production today's topic is the problems in tariff so i think uh, we might have studied about the tariff in the previous uh, session this tariff is nothing but the rate at which the electrical power is sold to the consumer so that is the tariff today we are going to see some problems based on this tariff so first problem so here a consumer has a maximum demand of 200 kilowatts at 40 percentage of load factor if the tariff is rupees 100 per kilowatt of maximum demand plus 10 pies per kilowatt har so this is the energy so find the overall cost per kilowatt hour so here there is a consumer we have to go through the question so we'll get the clarity on this so the maximum demand is 200 kilowatt so the load factor is 40 percentage the tariff is 100 rupees 100 per kilowatt tariff based on the tariff is 100 per kilowatt and max of the maximum demand and 10 pies per kilowatt hour you have to find the overall cost per kilowatt hour so this is based on the maximum demand we want to find based on the kilowatt hour so first we have to write the given data so what is given first the maximum demand is 200 kilowatt fine next one is we have to take the load factor that is given as 40 percentage so we can convert it into the decimal value it is 0.4 and we have to take the tariff so the tariff what is the tariff says it is rupees 100 per kilowatt of the maximum demand plus 10 pies per kilowatt hour so now what is this uh, uh, thing we have to find is the overall cost per kilowatt hour so for this how to get the solution so the solution is first we have to find unit consumed per year so this can be uh, multiplied by number of months into uh, number of uh, hours into number of days once again i repeat so this 8760 is nothing but 24 hours into 30 into 365 so you will be getting this value so this is the hours in the year number, number of hours in the year or 24 into 365 we give you will get this value so the load factor we know it is already 0 0.4 and maximum demand is 200 kilowatt this is the given data we already know so if you multiply it you'll be getting the value of uh, <coughs> so 7 lakh 800 kilowatt hour so this is the unit consumed per year but as per our question what is the per kilowatt hour cost so for that uh, we have to find the annual charges annual overall charges so it is nothing but annual maximum demand charges plus annual uh, energy charges so here uh, how to find it so it is nothing but 100 is a uh, maximum demand charge per kilowatt of maximum demand into 200 so that is nothing but the uh, md consumed plus 0.1 is nothing but 0.14 uh, rupees 14 uh, we know that uh, energy cost so the total kilowatt energy is uh, 7 lakh 800 kilowatt if we multiply both this and both this and if you add we get the annual charges so the annual charges 90,080 for total but we want only the per kilowatt hour energy charge so how to find it so overall cost per kilowatt hour is equal to this divided by this so this is the total annual uh, charges in that we want the charge of this one so overall cost per kilowatt hour so how to find it so by dividing this value by dividing this value we will get the value so that is nothing but the overall cost per kilowatt hour is nothing but 0 0.285 rupees that is 12.85 paise this is the per kilowatt hour paise so this is the first problem so this is based on the maximum demand so next also it will be similar we'll go for the next example 
here one more thing is coming that is the power factor here you can see calculate the annual bill of the consumer you are not going to find the per kilowatt hour bill you are going to find the annual bill annual bill is nothing but the yearly bill of the consumer whose maximum demand is 100 kilowatt as a previous case and the pf is 0.8 lagging power factor is 0.8 lagging and load factor is 60 percent the tariff used is 75 per kv here one more factor is coming that is kva and the maximum demand uh, that is the tariff as the previous case there it was kw it is 75 per kva plus 15 pi square per kilowatt consumed so how to find the annual bill of the consumer so first we have to take the given data as usual maximum demand is 100 kilowatt and here they have given additional thing that is power factor that is 0.8 lagging next one is the load factor it is 60 percent that is 0.6 and the tariff is rupees 75 per kva maximum demand it is not kw demand remember that is the key word we have to remember here plus 15 pies per kilowatt hour so to find this annual bill cost of the consumer so how to find this so uh, similar to the previous one so we have to find the units consumed per year so what is the total units consumed per year so maximum demand is 100 second one is kw 100 kw and load factor is 0 0.6 that is 60 percentage and the hours in a year is 8760 kilowatt hour. so total we will be getting 5.5 sorry 5.256 into 10 to the power you can take the value also directly no issues so whatever the value comes you can take it directly this is the number of kilowatt hour units consumes per year so the maximum demand is given in kv that is 100 per uh, it is it is in kva so we have to convert it so 100 divided by the power factor it is 100 divided by 0 0.8 that is 100 kva we are going to convert uh, into the maximum demand for known value and that is 125 kv because the power factor is coming into picture so it is 125 kv so the annual charges how to find it annual md charges that is uh, annual maximum demand charges plus annual energy consumption so here the annual MD charge is 75 into 125 because it is given in KVA. So we taken in KVA. So rupees 75 into 125 plus. So these values we have to multiply separately. So it is 0.15 rupees for per energy consumption into 5.26 into 105. This is the kilowatt hour consumption for annual. So if we multiply these both and these one and if you add summation of these will give them that is annual empty charges just coming under these factors and annual energy charges which is coming under these values so at the end we'll be getting this one the multiplication product will be the same and finally you will be getting the overall cost per kilowatt hour will be the rupees 88,215 will be the answer for this Next, we are coming to the factory load. So previously we are seeing over the consumer load. Now we are coming for the factory load. So it has a maximum load of 240 kilowatt at 0 0.8 power, power factor lagging. An annual consumption of 50,000 units. And the tariff is rupees 50 per kva for maximum demand plus 10 pies per unit. Calculate the flat rate of the energy consumption. Here we are talking about the flat rate tariff. And what will be the annual saving if the power factor is raised to unity? Now the power factor is 0.8. So what will happen if it is raised to the uh, unity power factor? Here we have two questions. So uh, before proceeding, we will see the question once again. So the maximum load of the factory is 240. And the power factor is 0.8 power, uh, power factor lagging and the annual consumption is 50,000 units of the factory tariff given is 50 per kva of maximum demand piece 50 per kva of maximum demand and plus 10 pies per unit of kilowatt hour here we have to find the 
first question we have to find the flat rate of energy consumption we have to find the flat rate tariff and what will be the energy saving if underline this if the power factor is raised to unity already by default it is 0.8 if it is raised to unity what will be its annual power saving that we have to find as you know maximum load is 240 kilowatt power factor is 0.8 lag and annual consumption is based on 10 pies per unit and it will be around 50,000 unit the tariff will be uh, rupees 75 per kva plus maximum demand plus uh, 15 pies per kilowatt hour so here yeah, the annual consumption is uh, 50,000 units at the rate of 10 pies per unit And the tariff is rupees 75 per kva maximum demand plus 15 pies per kwh what to find so what is the flat rate energy consumption the second one is annual saving if the power factor is unity how to find this so first we have to find the maximum demand in kv at 0.8 pf so that is 240 is the maximum demand divided by 0.8 is equal to 300 that gives the maximum demand and annual bill is the demand charges plus energy charges we know that uh, rupees 15,000 plus rupees 5,000 that is the demand charges plus uh, energy charges so it will be getting around 20,000 here we want to find the flat rate per unit that is rupees 20,000 divided by rupees 50,000 so this is the flat rate amount so we will be getting around uh, rupees 0.40 that is 440 pies uh, will be the flat rate per unit actually it is 0.44 then only it will be 0 0.440 0, uh, rupees or 440 pies so we want to find the next one what will happen if the pf is raised to uh, unity power factor that is 240 divided by 1 so the charges will be rupees 15 to 240 plus rupees 0 0.1 into 5000 sorry 50,000 so we'll be getting the flat rate per unit is rupees 17,000 so what will be the energy savings so the previous answer was around 20,000 minus the 17,000 so we'll be getting a saving of 3,000 if the power factor is raised from 0 0.8 to unity so this much amount we can save on this we can go for the example 4 so in this we having the following uh, data is the monthly reading of the consumer meter or follows maximum demand is 50 kW kilowatt energy consumed is 36,000 kilowatt hour reactive energy this is a new term 23,400 kvar so this is the new term how to compensate it we are going to see the tariff is rupees 80 per kilowatt of maximum demand plus 8 pies per unit plus 0.5 per month unit for 1 percent of power factor below the 86 percentage if the power factor is below 86 percentage each one person will have additional 0.5 so this is the meaning of this now we have to find the calculate uh, the monthly bill of the consumer so given data is maximum load is 50 kilowatt the reactive energy is 23,400 kvar energy consumed is 36,000 kwh tariff is this is very very important rupees 80 per kilowatt per kilowatt is uh, rupees 80 of the maximum demand plus 15 paise per kilowatt hour 15 paise per kilowatt hour plus 0.5 pies if it is not raised below this range it is uh, 0 pies if it is raised above 86 or below sorry not above below 86 for each one percent it is 0.5 pies so now what to find you have to find the monthly bill of the consumer so the solution is first we have to find the average load so 36,000 divided by 24 into 30 so we'll be getting 50 kilowatt as the average load so next what is the reactive power so reactive power 
that is also we have to take in average so that is 23,400 average is nothing but a month so 24 hours in a month so 23,400 divided by 24 into 30 will be getting 32.5 kvar so here how to find the angle cosine angle or power factor so we know that tan theta is equal to i think we might have studied this in the module uh, two ac circuits in that kvar divided by active power kvar divided by kw gives the tan theta value so it is 32.5 divided by the active power is 60 so we'll be getting the 0.65 as the uh, active power <coughs> So how to find the theta value? So tan inverse of 0.65 gives 33.02 degrees. So cost 33.02 will be 0.834. So the solution is now we want to find the power factor search for that 36,000 into 0.5 divided by 100 into 86 into 83.84 which we have found now. So which gives the value of power factor surges rupees 388.8 so what will be the monthly bill so 80 into 50 plus 0 0.08 into 36,000 plus 388 so all the three we are going to add now so this is the surge due to the final one that is 0.5 by say so this is due to the unit consumption and this is due to the killer demand maximum demand so these three are we are going to add now so we will be getting the value the monthly bill is rupees 7268.8 rupees so this is the solution for this the last problem we are going to see that is the tariff uh, in force that is for a consumer it is rupees 150 per kv of maximum demand and 8 paise per unit consumed if the load factor is 30 percent find the overall cost per unit at two conditions and the uh, power factor is unity and the power factor is 0 0.7 what is the given it is the maximum demand is uh, 150 kva actually we'll make a correction yeah i made the correction the maximum demand is 150 kva and the energy charge per unit is actually 8 pies per unit consumed the load factor is 30 percent which is in turn 0 0.3 and the overall we have to find the overall cost per unit under unity power factor under 0 0.7 uh, 8 power factor sorry 0 0.7 power factor so the solution is how to find it so maximum demand charge per unit is 150 into 100 that is the value divided by 8760 this is the per unit consumption so we'll be getting 5.7 pies. So energy charge per unit is 8 pies. So we put the value overall cost is so this value plus this value will be getting the value of 13.7 pies for overall cost if it is a unity power factor. The same can be taken if the power factor is 0 0.7. Here only one change we are going to make. Here you can see. So we are adding the power factor here because it is the unity in the previous case here it is the 0 0.7 so you are getting the value of 8.15 pies and here the energy charge per unit is by default it is 8 pies so totally you will be getting 16.15 pies for 0 0.7 so here you can see the increase in the value in the previous case it was less now it is more due to the power factor is decreased by 0.7 so these are all the various problems based on the uh, tariff i think you can work it out and you can get more ideas on the tariff thank you for watching